in Southern California where a dedicated staff work 24 7 taking care of animals that have endured suffering and pain that no animal should ever have. chickens, turkeys, peacocks, llamas, dogs, cats, a donkey, and a parrot. We have 170 animals of those kinds. That's a lot of animals. And basically we take in the animals that are too old, too sick, too lame, or too scared to be adoptable by any other agency. And so the other agencies don't take them, the animal shelters put them down and they have nowhere else to go. So we bring them in here and then we focus on, on rehabilitation. So we use a lot of healing modalities as well as regular veterinary care to heal their bodies, heal them emotionally, and once they're healed and happy, they stay here for the rest of their lives, and then they help us heal children that have gone through the same things that they have. Um, so the kids come in for a 10-month program and they learn kindness, and a lot of times, we'll work with kids that have actually been in jail for animal abuse. So it's this wonderful cycle of healing where we save the animals, the animals heal the kids, and then the kids grow up to be kinder to animals, so it kind of just keeps going. That's great. And uh, so you said uh, acupuncture, acupressure, so you use a lot of alternative medicine on these animals. Yeah, you know, sometimes because we work with animals that are just so old and so sick and so scared, sometimes there's a limit to what regular veterinary care can do. So we really need to think outside the box and do whatever we can to heal them. And so we do veterinary care, but we also do acupuncture, acupressure, chiropractics, deep tissue massage therapy, ultrasound, ice therapy, aqua therapy, nutritional supplements, energetic healing, animal communication, and lots and lots of love. And through all those different things, we have been very, very successful in being able to turn them around. All right, so this is Paulette uh, here at the Gentle Barn, and she's doing animal massage. So can you, can you tell us a little bit more about animal massage? Um, well, I'll just tell you that I've been volunteering here for about one year. And um, when I started, I started working on a cow. And what I did was I applied the same methods that I use when I work on people. I applied that to the cow, and I was finding the cow responded just incredibly. I have a picture of, of the cow with the, um, her head in my lap, with her eyes closed, while I'm working on her back. And I, I was completely seduced by that. And then I started working on goats, and now I'm working on horses. Now, I only work with animals, and I love it. Well, that's I love great. It. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. What's your vision for the future? Our vision for the Gentle Barn is to have Gentle Barns in every state around the world. We believe that if every single person in the world can hug a cow and hold a chicken and give a pig a tummy rub and really see how alike we all are and not see the differences, we believe that we can have a kinder world in one generation. So, you, you know, people live in these concrete cities full of technology and and modern buildings and we're really kind of, most of us are kept separate from nature and from animals and from the circle of life. And I think that if we can get back to putting our hands in the dirt and hugging a cow and realizing that we really are all the same even though we look so different, that we'll be more respectful and nurturing to the environment, to the planet, to other species, and to each other. I agree. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. They don't have to do anything anymore. They're all retired and living happily on this uh, gentle barn.
public every Sunday from 10 to 2, where people can come and meet the animals, hug the cows, cuddle the turkeys, play with the goats and sheep, and learn their stories. And you can also visit The Gentle Barn at gentlebarn.org.